I feel like the queen just died, you know, because they dragged that shit out. Uh, yeah, I feel the queen died like seven months ago. And yeah. then I get like a news report being like, that was a year ago. I'm like, no. No, I don't believe it. All right. Yeah, it queen. feels like she died in January or February or something. Isn't that crazy how long she lived? Like, like her son growing up thought he was going to be hot shit, king at like 40 or 50, like banging chicks and living the yeah. life. Yeah. You know and what that is? Like That's the plot of Simba without Scar. It's just oh, yeah. Mufasa lives too long. <laughs> Simba without right. Scar. I'm going to write that down. So then oh, you got like you got like the prince there. I don't know which one's next in line. I forget. Is it William? But no, 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 he's no, looking no, at his no. old ass dad. You know, William's what thirty something, almost forty probably. And he's looking at his dumb. You better, you better kick that fucking bucket, old man. Like I, I got, feel like the royalty are are using blood boys and blood girls. They have to be right. I mean, all the elites are right. Politicians, they royalty, got, especially the king of the king of fucking England has got to have a blood boy, right? Now, is I that like the one the where one they the drip the blood into your mouth? Up. Not, no. It, it's literally just transfusing. Your ideal transfusion giver oh. is like paid all retainer to oh, so, be so around. Like true you. blood. Exactly like true blood. The first season. I don't know. I've never seen that. Is that what that oh. is? Oh, are you talking about blood boys? There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to make enough money to get me a blood boy. How much okay. money do you need for a blood boy, Randy? Oh, in Ohio? Uh, it's fairly cheap. Uh, there's a lot of inner city oh, students, Ohio, who are looking, who are looking to, uh, you know, make Write it down. pro, and they just need a little, little money to, to you know, buy, buy them some time. So they got a, uh, you know, it's it, it's about one twenty a month, whenever you're on. One twenty a month. That's not do, bad. For how much blood though do you get? Is that weekly? Like one twenty a month, you get a weekly blood. Well, that's all I pay him, yeah. And then there's, of course, the insurance pays for all the transfusion well, part. But because it's like a hundred dollars for like a happy ending massage, so one twenty a month for a blood boy, if it's a weekly, that's not bad. Well, keep in mind that it's an extorted, you know, inner city miner who doesn't have a lot of options. I know that's nobody really cares about. Are we talking about Rem's tug job or your blood boy? Because it could be either one still, right? Yeah, that's why I said it that way. <laughs> Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I love you, Mara. I'll call you later. Bye, Mara. Peace. Oh. Randy, you nailed it on that one. You fucking got it. Boat. Got that shit. Right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode 276. Oh. The Rich Dickman Show, the podcast is slightly better than mediocre. I am your host, Ray. Oh, my God. Again. I can actually hear the music this week. This is great. You fixed it, Randy. I don't know what you did, but it's amazing. So thank you for that. But you're mm. here. Cody's here. We had a nice conversation pre-show, Randy. A little uncomfortable at times, a little quiet. Learned some things about Cody I didn't know I needed to know, but I do. Anyways, I'm happy to do this. 276, let's do it. Randy, <gasps> what's going on, baby? Well, Rem, in the vast expanse of my being, there lies an emptiness. A vast, a void so profound that I'm tirelessly thought, fuck that. Anyways, I'm doing all right, Ram. It's been a weird week. So I was going to try and read something that I wrote that I thought was cool, but it's too wordy and I'm too fucked. You were very adamant. You read that. Too much. You're like, fuck it. You're like, fuck it. We're going to, we need the notes. I worked so hard on it. And then literally 18th second of the show, you're like, ah, fuck it. I'm li- I literally like told you, Randy, said, "Randy, don't worry about the notes, man. Just we can just we'll just we'll just wing it. No big deal." And Randy's like, "No, nah, fuck I it. I worked hard on it." And so I, I did. I actually did. Well, it's all the other. I'm not saying you did. I worked hard on. I didn't work hard on that part. That part I worked hard on the other day when I was real yeah. sad. Cody, what's going on with you, yes. bud? How's things? Nothing. Chilling. I. Uh, it's one of those weird things where, like, I, I'm starting to have a neighbor that's getting up there in age. And I'm, I'm, and I'm becoming the easiest person to ask for a favor just because she's like two doors down. That's a good band. That was three doors, two doors down. Um, and yeah, the, uh, the asks are starting to get a little weird. She's like, hey, can you wash my dogs? Hey, can you like grill steak on like oh, yeah. a propane grill? She's like, well, I don't know. Uh oh. Like those, hmm. are, those are too much, too many, too many things. Well, hold on. Wait a second. She I walk dogs. What's you walk that? dogs. She, I walk her dogs. Asked, she asked you to grill her steak. She she's she's trying to get me to like cook food with her and for her. You know what I mean? She's like, hey, if I buy steaks, would you oh, be so kind as to like she's you know cook it up, man? How old is she? 
Oh, I don't know. She's my friend's mom, though. So oh. up there. Oh. Okay, Stifler. Um, uh, up um, there, like sixties. Up yeah. there, like f- yeah, sixties. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Yeah, and she just she recently broke her arm, so I'm trying to be the good guy and help out. But it's just like hand job she, arm or non hand job arm. I don't. I haven't paid attention to that one, Rem. I just I just oh, kind of walk the dog. She's giving you a hand job. Um, no, I don't. Uh, what was I going to say before I was accused of she broke her arm. a sextagenarian hand job? Um, walking, walking dogs. Yeah, write that down. I don't know. Yeah, I walk her dogs, but then like she tries to get me to like wash him. But she doesn't use the right verbiage for it. If you're like trying to convince me to like, you know, take money for washing your dogs, don't describe how filthy your dogs are. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, Cody, do you mind giving my dogs a wash? They're filthy. And I'm like, in shit. I, I don't want to now because they're filthy. <laughs> Is she Hawaiian? Is she a white lady? Is no, she's she... from Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Does she have that Virginia drawl? Um, this is going to sound horrible, but I'll just throw it out there because this show's ending anyway. Uh, she told me once in her medical history she suffered a stroke. That oh, might yeah. be the Virginia draw. I don't realize. What's that? Aphasia? Uh, is, that, is that what that one is? I get them all confused. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, it, it's a, it's a, it's a wound, uh, wound. It's a long winded, like. I keep hey, wanting to and try it, but I know I'm going right into Australian, and I don't want to do that. Good so. eye, my. <laughs> Is this an episode title? My stroke gave me a Virginia draw. That's long. I mean, it is. No, it it right is. Now. Ohio. I mean, Blood I can Boy put it in the special. database. Cody. We have a database okay. for episode titles. Do we have access to the database? Because you told it's me at I the do top it. of the motherfucking notes. If you just scroll up. Okay. All right, I don't see anything that says database. I don't see it anywhere, okay? It's not a database. It's like a little insert that, okay, it's called a database because that's what fucking Notion calls it, but okay. it's really just a table. So what do I click? I, I don't fucking know what you're looking at. I See, exactly. You keep telling me these things are here, but they're not. Well, they're on my screen, motherfuckers. Okay, so well, don't get mad at me because okay? you, you're the owner. All right, and we're just viewers. <laughs> the the the, uh, the AI uh, suggests that we go with instead uh, drawn out. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, Virginia sure. is for stroke survivors. <laughs> it's another. One. <laughs> Can we make stroke victim jokes? That's not funny. But yeah, well, I don't know. Boss. We're ending soon. Yeah, well, uh, so I had a boss once who told me never go to a chiropractor because he went once, get his neck adjusted, and uh, dude gave him a stroke. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah, he, uh, no. He, oh. no, 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 go ahead, Randy. I, I was, oh, I was, his left I eyelid subjects. droops a lot. Damn. It's not just balls, pal- Bell's palsy, like Jim Ross? Nope. From the stroke. Okay. He, he's no. getting therapy for it, though. God bless him. I hope he makes a full recovery because that's, isn't that crazy? Like the, 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 the horror stories from the chiropractors are all like heart and blood related. Yeah. Well, and, and then they, their best clients are the Amish. Really? Because they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would just assume it's against their religion to take too high tech of a drug. Oh, nice, Randy. Cheers. Oh, you guys get the they same have the same movie. Yeti. Yeah. Yeah, we're you Yeti fucking buddies. losers and your Yeti product. God damn. How much oh, that's got a vacuum seal you can't it. afford it. Thirty dollars. No, I got mine on sale for twenty, bitch. It's like nineteen, yeah. All right. Might resell it. I got my wife's company gives out like swag and shit like a couple times a year. So they get their you know branded stuff, but it's good, like, good shit. So I actually do have um a can koozie like that from Yeti, but with my wife's mm-hmm. company's name on it. Hmm. So hey, Rim, the, can you boost your game yeah. just a smidge? Yeah, get some yeah. gaffer tape. Get some, just put tape it out. That's, that's what you do. That's better. Yeah. Right. I have a lot of Yeti stickers I could send you if you want to put it on your oh, Ozark look at that mug or whatever. There I you imagine go. that you would have a lot of Yeti stickers with all the Yeti products you've purchased. Well, and they, they send them to me in the mail too. Yeah, because you're such a good customer. Mm. Sweetwater mm-hmm. does that too. I like. Yeah. That. I don't have enough stickers and stuff, but I don't Wait, know where what? I'd put them. I got. I, I'm the same. I appreciate stickers. I just never use them. I'm like that yeah. type of guy that's just like, it's got to be on something I'm going to carry around. But if it's something I'm I like, you know, if it's an important object, I kind of don't want a sticker on it. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it, it's like, what did Gracho Mark say? I would never be part of a club that would have me. Uh, I don't know. Did he say that? I think he said yeah. that. I would never, or I'm paraphrasing. I would never be part of a club that would have me as a member. 
That sounds, so it's uh, just like there, there's oh. nothing you know appropriate for a sticker except the things that are inappropriate. Which, I gotcha. Yeah, All right. Whatever. So anybody have any good feedback from episode 275? I know my mother listened, apparently. Fucking Randy. Oh, shit. Really? It's what the Twitter says. I haven't talked to her. She hasn't called me. Oh, wow. <laughs> I told her Man, to stop I didn't listening. Know that was real or not. 250 like, I episodes her. ago. <laughs> you encourage a lot. Yeah, no, nobody's Randall. talked to me about the uh, about the show at all. No? Okay. Not even you guys, really. Well, I haven't heard we're, much. We're doing it now. Yeah, we're doing it now. But you're right, Randy. I haven't heard much from you guys this week. But I've I just I went back to work. I had my longest vacation oh. in several years, and it was wonderful. Every little bit of it was amazing. And as soon as I drove back into Connecticut, my heart sank again. And the closer and closer we got to returning, just just hurt more. That's and more. how you know it's a good vacation when there's yeah. physical pain. Yep. Returning I, to your uh, I, I, re- I return, and I'm I'm right into. More telecoms and all this other bullshit, and it's just mother motherfucker. I hate every fucking second of this. Uh, but I've been really busy, and therefore I haven't been able to reach out to you guys and see what's mm-hmm. up. So I'm sorry, mm-hmm. but Cody's used to that, and he prefers it that way. I've been busy too. I didn't know the promoted. difference. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So let's. Randy got Randy got himself a promotion. Promotion watch 2023. Congratulations. It's not a watch. It's a promotion warning. Promotion. Now. Yeah. Prom- promotion completed. Like tornadoes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I officially signed the letter. You know, I did all the credit checks and everything. And credit I signed checks. up and said, what? oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's very serious. Like, I'm getting into an upper echelon of shit, man. Oh, I'm from a uh, company that just hires any asshole. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you're, oh, you're yeah, from no. the real company. A yeah. little bit. Oh, you know, are you although, to work from home? No. Well, not till. Okay. So, the the agreement that I reached with my new boss is that. Yeah, things are bad right now there because uh, basically what happened was I got promoted eight months ago and left this place, this department, and went to another department, and they oh. never replaced me. These are and people groveling so for mercy is boss, what you're saying. <laughs> yes. Yes, nice. a little bit. So then my old boss uh, got pissed off because he couldn't take a vacation anymore. So he said, fuck you guys. Um, after, you know, whatever, 19 years, I'm going to go somewhere else. And he had a $40,000 raise to go somewhere else. So good for him. Oh, so my then God. A couple months passed by. And they, uh, money. you know, a bunch of people start reaching out to me, telling me that his job finally got posted. So I went in for it and I uh, didn't hear anything for a little while. And then got a phone call one day and, you know, did a quick little interview and, and didn't hear anything for a while. And then. I missed a voicemail last Friday because my iOS 17 sucks dick. Um, anyways, it didn't tell me till Saturday and I was like, oh shit. So then I called and, you know, let me just put it to you this way. Uh, my new boss is a good salesman. Um, <laughs> he bought you. Of, you know, I could have got a, Well, no, I could have got another. I was, I was interviewing for another gig with a man that was 18K more. Uh, but money's not everything because I would have had like 11 people to watch over up there. And I'm not going to have that. So I'm going to have like one dude who's easy to manage. Um, so anyway, it, it, it's going to be, it's going to be fine. Uh, everything's going to be fine. But uh, the deal that I worked out, the work from home question, the one you asked originally is once I get all the bottom of the pyramid shit established, uh, probably take me three, five months. Then I can do a hybrid situation, which is what I want ultimately. Cause I like to get out of the house a couple days a week. Oh, isn't that nice? I love all you nice, work from actually. home people. Fuck, fuck your work. Okay, now I'm happy for you, but I'm just kidding. I can't even make a joke. Good for you, bud. I can't work from home. Nope. I, I physically not. not in the job description. <sighs> almost, almost was. I got to wait. I got to wait four more months before I can. I can take a downgrade and keep my raise. Three more months now. Three more months. Mm. Three more months. I'm a call girl. If you were wondering. Yes, yes, I am. Uh, exclusive. Hand jibber call girl. I don't mind. I the, I've been working on them. They're nice and smooth, and I Victorian like Victorian cosplay. Oh. Lavender. Can I, guys, can I like wrecking ball this for a second? Because I got to figure out what's going on. Yeah, you can randy it. Particular. Yeah, <laughs> randy it. Thank you for your. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Um, <laughs> Nine twenty-three this month. Okay. The twenty-third. Yes, that's what are we doing, boys? I'm going to my Saturday. parents' anniversary party. I have to give a speech. And I want to be there. Okay. Cody, are you going to be there? 
Be, where are we? This is close to my sister's birthday. Where are we? Where are we? Ohio? Cody's not going all the way up to Connecticut, Connecticut. For, for my stupid parents' stupid 50th anniversary. Okay. <laughs> How many people in your life, Cody, have ever had a 50th wedding anniversary? Um, That's I something we're celebrating. Think of zero. I can literally. I'm just saying zero. that's a that's a, you don't get the chance very often, especially not for people as lovely as Rim's parents. Cody, if you will come, yeah. I'll let you give a speech. I, that's that's how you get me not to go. No, you can tell everybody you're me because they don't see me that much nope. anymore. That's I, I'm I'm good. With let me do speech. it, Rim. Let me I'm okay. good. <laughs> I, see what is literally <laughs> happening right now is Rem is asking me to travel about five time zones to do one of my phobias, public speaking. Is is that a phobia of yours? I have no oh, idea. Not, Honestly, I no, have no idea. You do a podcast. so I, People <laughs> think I'm insane for like having a public speaking phobia. There's no one in my room right now. Like They're like, you're a podcaster. Why are you like that? It's because when you podcast, it's not public speaking. I know it eventually gets to the public, no. but the public isn't in my fucking room right now. <coughs> Rem and Randy aren't even in my fucking room right now. It's nice. Uh, it speak for your, speak yeah. for Rem. It might be. You know, I was I was with I was with my dad this past weekend. My son and I went over there Sunday to watch the Labor Day race, the uh, Southern Five Hundred. Um, and so my father kept asking me, "So are you writing? Are you giving a speech for our anniversary?" And I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, have you started working on it? And I'm like, yeah. Oh. And he's like, oh, God. yeah. And I'm like, every time I'm in the shower, I add a little bit more. And he looked at me. He's like, what? I said, I do my best thinking in the shower. He's like, wait, what? What you write? Do you write a speech while you're in the shower? I'm like, no, I, I, I go over it in my head. I visualize myself giving the things I want to say, the points I want to hit. And I build it that way. Yeah. I couldn't. Yeah. You're workshopping a speech in the shower. Well, excuse me. That's right. Rem, if you want me to totally give the speech and pretend to be you. We're just telling, yeah, exactly. We'll be like, all right. And so, hey, everybody, welcome to the Dickman family 50th uh, wedding anniversary. Uh, here to welcome you all. This is Rem Dickman. And it'll be like, yeah, we clap. Hello. And Randy, Randy walks up there. And, and and at least at least thirty three percent of the audience would be like, oh, wow, Rem gained weight. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and I'll just be like, good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Something. Give a bunch of platitudes. It goes super political. Wow. Like we have to do something about this environment. Okay, I know this is a fiftieth anniversary party, but I need to say my piece. You know, you know, some shit like that. Yeah, you gotta those, like those encourage people really to good. block like highways and shit. Yeah, yeah, I just do. I just do my whole sixty minutes of dead parent jokes. Uh, <laughs> Twice. You get to the end of the Rather sixty minutes. Nice. Just run it back to minute one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna once I get my my speech workshop I, I, on paper. I'm gonna send it to you guys so you can critique. Maybe I'll oh, even, okay. maybe I'll even practice in front of you. Ooh, not not recorded that. though. As long as you're as long as you're okay with me hurting your feelings when you suck. No, I'm not okay with that. Actually, not at all. No, no, I, no. Just so you get better. No, no, I'm not okay with anybody. Like, like if you feelings. say I'm a lot, I'm gonna point it out. I mm-hmm. no will not give power to people who hurt my feelings. I mean, that's a mindset. Okay, I'm not hurting your feelings. I'm just trying to make you better. You're not hurting so, my feelings now. Huh? See, Cody knows what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I zoned out, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a coward? No, see, here you go. You're starting already, all right? You could have just stopped. Now you have to go try to hurt my feelings. No, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. I'm trying to tell you what I think because I feel like at a certain point in time uh, whenever you reach certain financial security you have a responsibility to the world to say exactly what's on your mind oh, and then okay. let the world deal with it I got you what level like of that. financial security is that the world has to fucking endure oh, for me, and deal with my ideas yeah because I earned it uh, for me uh, financial security I mean you know uh Really, you can't take it away from me, man. I, I could go with nothing. Yeah. And I'm still going to say what I feel like I need to say. Oh, God bless you. Like, I could be living in the fa- fucking park. I don't give a shit. In a, in a van down by the river? Uh, nah, I wouldn't do that. No. Not my, need not a my shitter. Scene. Are you I feel guys, like that's uh, my, my bare minimum. You guys don't know Chris Farley, I just realized, huh? I know Chris Farley. Yeah, but I mean, you he, were... invited, he, he almost got me to go to DeVry. Oh, the SNL skit. Yeah, sure. That's a good one. It's a job. See? You guys yeah, don't know Chris Farley. Rapper doing the punching yeah 
The run punch died in December of 1997. One of you Did was you five see, years you, old. Holy his shit. His coroner photo was leaked, and that was rough. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. was awful. Oh, yeah, God. Just, have you seen it? It's just, there was a period when I was going I, to college for uh, like a semester. I was That's all I was looking at is coroner photos. Ugh. Yeah. Chris Farley is ex- you, like alive. You thought Chris Farley was round as fuck, but dead, bloated. It, that guy is super round oh, when he was on his back, dead, bloated, and asphyxiated. <sighs> That's not Dumb awful. Chris Farley, kids. Yeah. If you don't know what Chris, it, what, how, what Chris he, Farley uh, died of, he just he just partied too hard and was, was an auto erotic asphyxiation. No, he just partied too hard and did the uh, pass out on your back and vomit thing. Oh, it wasn't cocaine or nothing? It might have been cocaine. That's that's. I don't know. I don't want to say. If it wasn't, I don't want to say so, it was. Uh, but he went like that's a kind bitch, of what Hollywood he, he, did. He died on his back and threw up on himself. What the yeah, fuck, that's man. you can see it in the corner. It's very gross and. Yeah, I, and, uh, it's been a while. I, I remember he was it. supposed to be Shrek. My stepmom sister that? went out that way. No, mm, no. Rest okay. in peace, the All Star Smash Mouth guy, though. Yeah, Is that it, guy yeah. died. He's dead. I remember he was on hospice yeah. the last thing I saw, but he's dead yeah. now. I mean, once they go on hospice, it's, you know, I'm sorry. I learned, it's like I tweeted, at least he got the good drugs. I learned <laughs> you can leave hospice twice without penalty, at least in Hawaii. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, it's on your own, or they say you're... You well, know? you can... I know this from my dad, but you can pretty much... Hospice, if you don't know, means like, hey, I'm done. Let's just sail the rest of my, you know, natural lifespan out with like, you know, mild, like some comfort and medical staff. Yes. You yeah. can leave that and be like, JK, I want to live. You can go back into it. Oh. And then you can say, JK, I want to live a second time. And then after you do it a second time, you still can go back into a uh, hospice. But if you leave hospice, then they don't let you back in. So you can't enter so hospice third time a fourth time. No. Well, third time, okay. you know, fourth time is a no. Third time you're out. So it was mm-hmm. like, my dad didn't do that, but I was just like, there's got to be a story behind that rule. Thank you know you. what I mean? Just old man Jenkins. Like, like I'm yeah. dying. I'm not. I'm dying. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's got, there's a, there's got to be oh, a story. Uh, it was funny whenever... Whenever they sent my dad home from hospice to like go home and be on hospice, uh-huh. they uh, they assumed he was gonna make it like three weeks or so. Uh-huh. So they sent enough morphine and drugs for three weeks. Uh-huh. And he died three three hours in. <laughs> so pretty, yeah, so but- we just had copious amounts of drugs sitting around, and then all of a sudden, my uncle was long gone, and we couldn't find him for like two months. Yeah, uh, old Uncle Rick. Same thing without the mm-hmm. Uncle Rick. My grandma uh, got in trouble for that. Yeah. When my dad was leaving hospice, they gave him like they wanted to give him like three months, but he he had three days. So, yes, we had a pile of fucking drugs to like, uh, you know, uh-huh. keep him keep him comfortable. <laughs> Remember him by. <laughs> but, uh, but instead, the uh, the caretaker was there when when my dad passed. And it was very interesting. She loaded the mountain of drugs up into like one of my dad's diapers or like, you know, what, what do they call them? Depends. And then they threw him out <laughs> yeah. as like an extra safeguard for people like going through our trash. You know what I mean? Like, Oh, what? yeah, it, it they was a threw, rule. Never mind. That's it just, was a rule they had they, like to deter drug addicts from going through my dad's trash. They folded up his drugs and wet them in an adult diaper. So if you're a drug addict that learned my dad no, that, died, Okay. And you go through my trash, you're going to find a diaper and probably be less likely to open the diaper up and see what's in it. Is there... Okay, no, they just did that so that the guy they sent back later to pick it up would know how to get it and there wouldn't be garbage on it. Well, they soaked the drugs in water. So, unless he was sucking on a... <laughs> okay, you didn't tell me that. Okay, I was fucking trying here, man. I was trying to make it cooler. Yeah, it was interesting. It's a nice little trick to uh, prevent, you know, drug problems on your block. Mm. Hey Randy, what do we have in store for us tonight? Oh, um, you want want segments? segments? We've got segments. It's 
thinking with your dickman. All right. Just thinking with your dickman. This is this part of the show where we answer questions from you. You. Hello, Arthur and friends. I'm John emailing you from Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> I'm a 49-year-old insurance salesman. Lazy bitches. <laughs> doing going through your classic midlife crisis scenario i've gained weight lost hair and i'm uninspired at my corporate job i keep thinking oh. how i want to change careers get back in shape pursue hobbies and feel excited about life again before it passes me by but then i don't know where or how to start do you have any good life advice for people mm. like me having a midlife crisis what steps can i take yeah. To make major life changes at this stage. Sincerely, John. I like that you're aware of the midlife crisis. Most people aren't aware of their midlife crisis. No. And they buy, you yeah. know, social media platforms. and. There comes a point after you, after you turn 40 at some point. Like, for me, it was this past year where, like, nostalgia really becomes a thing. And you think back to all those great times you had 30 years ago and how it's never going to be like that again. Like it's never going to come back. It's all gone. It's never happening ever again. All the joy you felt as a child, well, it'll never be there. It'll never be the same anywhere. So what you got to do instead of being sad about it is got to kind of accept that part and make your own new happiness. It, new it's things. kind of like receiving the Trust news. Me. Like there's 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 always this horror story about like if you like go to a shady Claire's and get your tongue pierced, they might hit the nerve that like process is sweet and you, and you will just not be able to taste sweet things for the rest of your life. Yeah. Um, awesome. you got to think of your midlife crisis like that. It's just like, Oh, all my childhood whimsy and wonder is gone. Well, okay, here you go. Start enjoying savory foods. Then start enjoying, you know, the, the umami of life when, you know, you yes. can't enjoy the sweetness of life. No, you're absolutely right, Cody. It's like, you know, to me, a nice dinner, a nice expensive dinner is way more fun than drinking and gambling. You know what I mean? I'd yeah, rather just sit yeah, there and have yeah. a really nice, delicious Wagyu steak dinner. When I was 20-something, like, a <laughs> night on out in town would be like, get dinner, meet up with the friends, drink, change bars, get one more drink, and then, you know, walk home. Or, like, right. bum a ride home. <laughs> So, and then but, nowadays it's just like, no, I would like to just like sit at a bar or a table and have, you know, a nice like steak pasta with like a beer. Yeah. Uh, I, I would like to say though, to, to John is that don't give up on the things though. Like if there's like one thing that you really want to do and you haven't done it yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can, if you have an isolated childhood. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hand job and nasal massage parlor, whatever it is, just go out and you just got to find the time to do it and just get it done. Cause you know what? You don't want to regret, regret missing that stuff either. So, and here's the thing. People are like, always like, I can never like relive your childhood. And it's like, yes, but you can never do that. But the thing is, if you can like zone in and find out what like lights your head back up, you can go and redo that. You know what I mean? If you like realize like, Oh, like when I, I, a part of my a big part of my childhood was just zoning out to like blink 182 and running laps in wave race you can go find that album and sure. run wave race still yeah. <laughs> like if you yeah. know what it is you can do it yep, you can't 100%. just ask the genie to relive the childhood <coughs> so it, I, I think i actually have some good info on this because i just started the book the second mountain mm-hmm. um and and what it talks about is that the first mountain is about self-centered ambitions, such as career advancement, building a reputation, acquiring status symbols, you know, and many achieve success on this mountain. They often find at its peak a lack of fulfillment and a sense of emptiness. And so then there's the second mountain, which is about shifting from self-centered life to other centered ones. Uh, it's about contributing to the well-being of others, seeking deep and deeper relationships, committing to causes beyond oneself and living a life of meaning. On this mountain, people find their true purpose and achieve a lasting sense of fulfillment. I think you just got to figure out your second mountain, homie. Boom. There you go. I like it. Good job, Randy. Thank you. Yeah. It do suck at the next top of mountains. Uh, I'm Arthur. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, I, I'm friends. I'm the... Uh, I'm and then. Jesus Christ. You're the comma. Fuck. All right. What's the next All one? All right. <laughs> Dear Captain America, Iron Man, and I'm Thor, I'm Jessica emailing you from New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm a 27-year-old marketing professional. I've 
always struggled with being overly agreeable at work and difficulty saying no to extra duties. Ha. Lately, my boss has been taking advantage of this as finding me additional projects left and right that leave me overwhelmed and working late nights slash weekends to keep up. I want to be more assertive about setting boundaries, but I'm worried if I start declining assignments, it may hurt my advancement opportunities. How do I find that the place between being a team player and standing firm to protect my time and energy, time and energy, appreciate any tips. Sincerely, Jessica. I got accuse him of sexism. Nope. I got the perfect thing oh, for okay. this. You ask something that would be over budget. And then they, you know what I mean? It's like, I could do all this if I had my own assistant. And then immediately they'll be like, well, what's cheaper than giving you your own assistant? Oh, we can ask your boss to back off. Huh. I like it. I like That's that. I That's do. good, Cody. Um, I, I, um, I, I have a recent example of like sexism in the workplace kind of related to this is that somebody uh, who worked for me went on, went to go help out with some place else, right. To go work for them for a few months to help them out. And they made that per, they made her cancel all of her vacation over the summer. So yes. all the other men, any recompense or is just fuck your shit. Just Did she get a kickback for it. No, but she's like, I don't, I can't say no. I don't want to lose my opportunity here and, you know, and have them never give me an opportunity again. So it sucks. You know, that shit's, that shit's fucking bullshit. I don't like it. Mm. Um. Yeah, Cody, you're right. More. Go get paid some more somewhere else. Yeah, somebody else will value Fuck you. These bitches. Wow. I mean, if you go to Chipotle within three years, you can make a hundred grand, and that's no bullshit. Really? As a manager? Yeah. As, yeah, as your own restauranteer, you run. Oh, okay. Stores. I was watching. Was not, you don't own it. It's just called a restauranteer. It's what they call their general managers. It's a fancy name. Oh, it's not. You're not like uh, the director of operations. I don't know. You're not a uh, franchise. Everyone has different structures, you know? Chipotle you doesn't franchise. That's right. <clears throat> Do you ever see that sandwich board advertising like Bucky's manager and worker rates? That's insane. Good for Bucky's. No. What's yeah. Bucky's? You know, oh, okay. You haven't been down south. Uh, Bucky's is like a humongous like truck stop, but it's humongous enough where people that aren't truckers can also use it. So it's in like Texas okay. and Oklahoma, um, uh, humongous, <clears throat> humongous restroom facilities. Uh, there had to have been about 30 urinals on the wall when I walked in there. They have showers. Uh, they have, they probably have showers. I didn't see them. Um, they, they're up on cleanli cleanliness and they sell a mean brisket sandwich. So see? it is everything you want. If you've been on, if you've been on the road for like five or six hours and there's a Bucky's just, just make the exit for it. You know, I've always said, See, like, go ahead, Randy. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, there's one of those that started in uh, Pennsylvania called Sheets. Mm. It's made its way over here. And, and there's one up near my old office in, uh, near Columbus. But uh, they have mac and cheese bites. Mm. Oh, and to finish mm. my thought, the uh, the sandwich board I was mentioning said, like, sorry. Bucky's employees make, like, upwards of, like, $19 an hour just for making sandwiches and, like, you know, keep it here and all clean. See, in the cleanliness, cleanliness and customer service will make you successful in just about anything. Okay? It's going away. It, I, like that shit is like hard to come by nowadays. I, like, I know you go to a Chick-fil-A. Why do you always want to go to Chick-fil-A? Because one, it's clean and the staff is always awesome. Right. You go, you would have the most successful McDonald's in your state. If you know, we, despite all the shitty McDonald's food, if the place was fucking clean and everybody in there had a fucking smile on their face and said, how can I help you today? You know, and provided excellent customer service. People would go to that. People love that shit. But it's it's lacking. It's lacking everywhere except Chick Fil A. You know why it works at Chick Fil A? Why'd you why? work at Chick Fil A? Their general managers are part owners. Oh, see, see. If and you know why it used to work at McDonald's? General because they they would go out uh, usually to Rotary clubs and shit and find people who wanted to work hard, and they'd help them become owners. Yeah, and then they would do the same to their people, and then we, the same to their people. It used to be an organization. We give we've and given that all like, away. Wow. Can I can I reveal something to you? I have I have almost no solid feasible source for this, but I'm I was I was reading like a thread somewhere that is hinting that McDonald's and Burger King and fast food joints in general are making an effort not to hire, you know, to to rebalance their work staff with, you know, young people and like not old people, but like 
30 year olds, you know, just so it's not all like teenagers <laughs> and the places yeah. that are hiring, like, you know, the more, you know, mature crowd are reporting the sandwiches and burgers aren't shit anymore. So, like, oh, really? I've, I've felt like fast food has been declining over like the last decade or so. And a lot of people are thinking it's yeah. literally just the quote unquote burgermanship. <laughs> like, it's these dumb fucking kids that are like trying to like stream on Twitch while cooking your food that is responsible for like the decline of fast food quality, not the ingredients or McDonald's or Burger King cheaping out. It's just. You Dumb fucking are hiring people that don't care people. about making burgers. Yeah, they're just hiring people to hire people because they need the people. Yeah, back when I hired people for pizza, like for the insiders, my favorite person in the world was that you know older lady who never worked really, but then her husband up and left her for someone on Facebook, and she yeah. had to get a job. <laughs> and I was just like, hey, let me teach you some skills that will you'll be able to translate into a better job here in a couple of months. And they would come in and they would work there and they'd never leave because they were loyal. I mean, they stayed with that loser for that long. Yeah. When you guys, when you guys come up on the 23rd, I want to tell you some stories about, I can't get into all the, my stories on all this stuff, but it's, it's, it's disheartening. It's disheartening what we're doing to our workforce and, you know, everything in general. Everything's fucking falling apart and everything's terrible today and it's awful. Yeah, but yeah, I guess somebody, some companies are doing it right by taking care of their employees. And absolutely. More success. Yeah. So good. Good for, there's not enough of them though. There's not enough. Not enough. Y'all, y'all voted yeah. for Joe Biden, and the place everything sucks now. Fuck you guys. Uh, oh, I don't yeah, think the, guys. Uh, the guy who uh, the anti union busting guy. He wouldn't let people go on strike because he's you know a union president. Who Biden? Motherfucker. Yeah, he he made the railroad workers not go on strike. <laughs> then, a wasn't there a bitch. railroad accident like days after that? Is that what happened in East Palestine? Yeah. <laughs> It, yeah, no, fucking fuck Warren Buffett. Fuck everybody. Uh, fuck it's his everybody. fault directly. All right, this is the last question. Uh, I want to be Buffett. Thor. He's still alive. Oh, uh, Captain America. Yeah, I'll take Iron. I think I would be the Iron Man, wouldn't you? Like, I mean, yeah, come on. you definitely are. It's kind of you, you are. You know, the tragic, tra- tragic parent history and and my tech tech abilities and is, is there there I'm going to be the one that, who dies to save you guys. Is there any superhero that has parents? Thor or Iron Man? Yeah, Thor. Thor's yeah, got, got Odin. Odin. Right. Who's Thor's mom? And uh, <laughs> Captain America had parents. Yeah, had. Thor's mom is everyone Freya, had dude. parents. <laughs> in that oh movie. yeah, Freya. Freya. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Thor's a good guy. Like uh, I never. Black Panther I, had a dad and a mom. Yep. Had had. Which is had. weird. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Randy. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> huh? Huh? No, they just do things differently. No, it's a different society. They gener- <laughs> they they didn't do marital co- rim. They oh, you motherfucker, you guys. Oh man, when I run in twenty twenty eight, if any of this gets out, I'm gonna beat both your asses. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, fucker. Oh. Okay, what's happening? God, Hello, Katniss, Peta, and <laughs> Gail. <laughs> I'm Joyce, emailing you from what? Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm a forty two year old divorced mom of teen it's uh conger games uh divorced mom of teenage twins erica and dylan had pants too (laughs) who are 15 i was married for 15 years before getting divorced last year the kids are handling it all right but i'm feeling totally lost trying to navigate the world of dating again my friends encouraged me to try signing up on apps don't do that and going on some dates to get back out there the problem is between parenting duties and my job i feel totally out of practice on how dating works these days. Do you have any advice for older divorced parents like me looking to dip their toes back into the dating scene? Sincerely, Joyce. Can I go first this time? This, yeah, man. This since, sounds since fucking think, terrifying. Yeah. Go ahead, Randy. Okay, yeah. So here's all you got to do is uh, if you're not comfortable going, you know, to the hard stuff like the Narcotics Anonymous or, Whoa. you know, Alcohols Anonymous or whatever, the churches do the Celebrate Recovery where people be like, you know, I'm bringing recovery for gluttony or whatever. Uh, go there, find people who are really down on themselves. And but find just, find you know, a focus group that isn't serious. Like, you know, he's like, oh, I'm I'm a recovering weed addict. He's like, what really? Okay, you know, date somebody from yeah. that group, not like go a hard. I had one guy meeting. when I did it. It was like, you know, I'm recovering from uh, from porn addiction. And I'm like, oh, you know, how was bad? How bad was it at its peak? And he was like, well, I'm masturbating right now. And I was like, You're wow, he was. <laughs> 
Impressive. He was masturbating. Uh, but then I, he also said he had Tourette's. So, like, I think he masked it with the face stuff. Right. See, if you... He has a PhD now. Kind of if, if Joyce was a guy, I'd tell her to, like, sign up for yoga classes. Um, But because she's a female, I'm going to try to flip the equation and say, uh, play disc golf. I don't know. You 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 just disc disc golf last week horribly. Like, I know. Like like you burn it into the ground. Like if anyone ever goes near disc I'm golf here now. again, I'm in this like, week now. <laughs> I'm in this present. This is the yeah, time we're missing right the most right. important thing. Yeah, yeah I, don't talk I'm, to me about timelines. I'm, Nelson Mandela got released from prison the day I was born, bitch. I want to be Katniss. Mandela effect me. started with me. I'm not. Hold on, you can't pick yet because number one, I don't know who these people are. And number two, it's fucking Hunger Games. Joyce is a woman. Hunger Games, bitch. Okay. Yeah. So I'm saying Joyce disc is golf a woman. instead of. And, it, and, and nobody ever talks about this. Yeah, yeah. But it's infinitely easier for Joyce to find penis than it is for penis to find Joyce. You know what I mean? Okay, at or, or 40? Because all she has to do 42? is she goes on some apps and hey, at 40, at 40, it's even easier. A, a, a dude is, me? When I was 22, dude can find you think a date I was looking at 40. for I know a dude can find a date when he's like 40 and 50. Women, it's like you got to get lucky. You don't, you don't know, dudes. Cody, Cody, dudes pay for pics of dirty feet. Are you fucking kidding me? There is absolutely somebody I know. Out there who have sex with a forty-two-year-old woman. I'm just saying. Are you, are you, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that. But I'm, what I'm saying is, like, dudes have it easier because they're like financially stable and you know still good looking at thirty or forty. Whereas what the fuck like did that. you just say? <laughs> Dudes have it easy Co- just Cody, because they're geez, financially stable. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, it, yes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm just saying it's easier. <laughs> like, dudes age like wine. Show, There's some women out there that age like milk. <laughs> I know. That's why I'm saying this. You're, 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 yeah. you're getting but, spicy. Well, no, they Cody, get osteoporosis. The There's no milk in there, Cody. The, the milf, yeah. the milf cougar. The milk, There's no milk in there. In young men, Cody. And you have that 60 year old neighbor. He's got an arm ready to break there's, out of a cast. So there's no milk in there, says Randy. There's no milk in there. All just right. just start walking around, and the first dude you see, ask him what time it is. That's it. And whenever he says, but the oh, thing you is, the phone? he might not have like, a good. Yeah, but yeah. I want to suck your dick. No. Yeah, but that's that's probably not. Well, Cody, you th- you're thinking about this you yeah, one out of ten yeah. times. This is dating. This is dating, not just dating. Is. Okay, I, you guys. She's asking for a date. You're both not even thirty five yet, and you're both stupid. Listen to me. All right, Joyce, think of a hobby that you like, whether it's yoga, whether it's jogging, whether it's working out, whether it's playing video games, whether what whatever it's the fuck it is, whatever it is, th- yeah, podcasting, whatever your hobby is, get into your hobby, find some dude who's doing that hobby as well and say, oh, hi, because there's a good chance the dude who's in that hobby, he probably doesn't talk to too many women. And he'd be like, oh my God, the girl's talking to me. And boom, you, you got an opening right there. And even right, so the guy is experienced, I said he's just so happy that you made you the first move. Okay, What's your hobby? Golf, whatever. Fucking, I don't care. It doesn't matter what the hobby is. Basket weed. Dungeons and Dragons. Pottery is yeah. good. Be careful though. Some of those guys will stand up and cut their <clears> dick <throat> off right in front of you. Like it's it's their rule. Yeah. God, speaking of Dungeons okay, and Dragons, but, have you seen the, Baldur's uh, the game? gentleman will be amazing. I've been wanting to. <laughs> Sorry. Cody's like delayed. His his, his lips are I know. moving and then I I'm gonna like voice, yeah, it, let okay, me so throw Cody, me off. <laughs> yeah, well, can I leave? If you the could call? do me a favor and click your fucking web browser. Because you're not focused on your web browser, and it tells me. Okay. There, now it's going to work. Sorry, I was checking the waveform. For, 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 okay, for 45 minutes? Yes! You have to, mo- that's what pe- manning the boards means. You silly fuck. I man the board, bitch. You man the universal board. I man my own board. You don't man my board. Cody, right, Cody Joyce- mans Cody's board. Take the work out of it when, for the guy. You make the first uh, move. You'll meet any on the twenty third when we podcast together in person again. I'm manning the only fucking board. That's yeah, on. you're allowed to do yeah. that. What we got next, Randy? Oh. I'm I'm Gail. I'm Katniss. I'm definitely Peta. I'm I got the fatness. Finalist for Dick of the Week. Peta. Here's our first nominee. All right, Dick of the Week. And he got done dirty. Nothing from Svenson this week, huh? I did my best. I know. Eight passengers, Frank and business partner, charged with six counts of aggravated child abuse. Frank with a E. Eight passengers. That must be a business. Yeah, no, it's a YouTube series. Oh, okay. Thing. Okay. So, Utah blogger so Ruby of Frank passengers. Okay. was officially charged with child abuse in the 5th District Court in St. George today, September 1st. 
week old. Uh, Frank and business partner Jody Hildebrandt were each charged with six counts of aggravated child abuse following the discovery of the two of Frank's children in conditions of neglect and abuse on Wednesday, August 30th. Frank was made famous by her YouTube vlog, Eight Passengers, where she chronicled her parenting techniques, which often came under <laughs> public scrutiny. Wow. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we're in this day and age where, like, you can just say you're an expert, find a platform, get enough clout to prove you're not an expert, and then go to jail. That's how people Cody. find, you know, like, I feel like people should be finding out that they're not an expert in school or training. But now we have yeah. YouTube to find out we're not an expert. Well, he's on YouTube. Must know what he's talking about. Cody, read. Go into the second page. And let's talk about what these people did to get arrested. Uh, police arrested the two women after Frank's son escaped through a window of a house owned by Hildebrandt <laughs> and fled to a neighboring home looking for food and water. <laughs> he's not trying to escape. He's just looking for food and water. The neighbor noticed duct tape on the child's ankles and wrists and called the police. Uh, a plus for escaping with duct tape on. Sounds you. like a normal weekend to me. Uh, law enforcement reports and court documents state the 12 year old was found to be severely malnourished. Other wounds were also reported on the child who was taken to a local hospital and placed under medical hold due to due to deep lacerations from being tied oh up with a rope and malnourishment. Put these women the to death. Child led police back home where a search found another child of Frank's hiding in the home in much the same conditions. Oh. Later in the day, August 30th, Washington County worked on Springville police to locate the last two minors, both teenagers in Frank's residence in American Fork, Utah. Stay out of Utah, y'all. Put her to death. All the children Kill have been this taken woman. into Holy care shit. by Utah Department of Children and Family Services, yada, yada, yada. I, wow. I get so sensitive when it comes to children now. You know, being a father myself and having, you know, generations here of kids, uh, I, I these these stories about child harm and stuff, like, break my heart. Even if the kid is just lonely it's a real for opportunity minutes. for the kids to develop some resilience, Rim. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's wacky. <laughs> What's their next one? I'm, I'm still That's reeling from that this. Woman you know, like it was on YouTube. She was on like YouTube doing some of this. Uh, eh. Sorry, I'll try I have to press the button extra hard. Thing. New Jersey business owner used drone to drop die into nearby pool. Say the police. Oh Patrick God. Spina the fourth was arrested at his business on East Whitehorse Pike in Galloway Township. Where is this? Jersey? Hell yeah. Absecon, Jersey, Jersey, a business owner from Absecon, New Jersey, is facing criminal mischief charge. Oh, criminal mischief. That's how you know they were having a slow day at NJPD. Um, uh, allegedly using a drone to drop green dye into neighbors' pools. It was late June when the general manager of the Quality in Galloway Township noticed their outdoor pool had suddenly turned neon green. And she knew it was an algae. I totally... Saw it green and was like, oh, wow, what's going Where? on? So we saw a dye pack in the bottom of the pool and didn't know what it was. They had the pool so draining. This guy cleaned. is dropping dye packs in the pools. Yeah. It doesn't say whether he was like a hotel owner himself and is trying to get more business for his own place. Just say he's a business owner. That's why guests well, were if, disappointed if is, each I mean, time. Just capitalism. Yeah. Guests were di disappointed each time and Woolstein said it cost the hotel thousands of dollars. Damn, that's that's shitty. That's like just a shitty thing to do. <laughs> that, yeah, this is like chaotic yeah. evil. Yeah, a resident saw the drone on the top. All right, I'm sorry, at the top right. of the thing. Like he admitted it, man. Yes, good. Because good. He, we, I don't. He doesn't want to be escalating war. Sorry, we moved on to the third story already. Oh, Cody. okay. I'll be there in a second. <laughs> apparently, apparently, Randy wants everybody in Russia to be killed. No, I love. Russian people. Obviously, you don't. Musk acknowledges he turned off Starlink internet access last year during Ukraine attack on Russia military. Elon Musk on Thursday acknowledged turning off internet access from his Starlink satellites during a Ukrainian raid last year on a Russian naval fleet, saying he did so to prevent SpaceX from becoming complicit in a major act of war and conflict escalation. Musk responded on his social media platform, X. To news details from an upcoming so book that indicated he ordered his engineers to shut off 
communications network yeah. before the attack on the Crimean coast. There was an Fuck emergency Ukraine. request from Russia. government authorities to activate Starlink all the way to Sevastopol. Musk wrote on X, the platform previously known as Twitter, the obvious intent being to sink most of the Russian fleet at anchor. If I had agreed to the request, the SpaceX would explicitly would be explicitly complicit in a major act of war and conflict escalation. Musk wrote. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Sorry, I put the wrong article in. I meant to put the one where oh, he I, blamed the Jews for Twitter failing. I read that for That's so the long. One that he's oh, you mean the ADL? Week. Oh, yeah. yeah that, that just <laughs> happened, well, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. Now, you see, now, see, what you just did there is defamation or libel. Randy, be very clear. He sued the ADL, not the Jewish people. I'm protecting you, but he put Jewish people in the tweet, didn't he? Uh, Jewish people in parentheses at ADL. That's I'm pretty sure that's how the tweet was. Okay. If I'm misremembering right, it, right, I apologize. All right. All right, all right. Settle your tits. Or okay. you can try. I'm judgment proof. Motherfucker. Sell, sell your tits. Give it a shot. Shut Let's get everything shut out. The fuck Let's up. get everything out. Everything out in court. I want discovery on your ass. Bring it. Elon Musk. Sue me. There we go. That'll fund uh, episode 302. <clears throat> Cody, we're now yeah, almost done. That's a hell of a, oh. that's a hell of a fucking Deliberate like moral <laughs> impasse, right? Have come to the consensus. I don't blame the guy because if your shit's gonna be the cause of a just, bunch of people dying, like, yeah, he kind of just was out. like wanting nothing to do with yeah, it. Yeah, but no one person, no one person who's not elected should have the ability to make a decision like that. Those are our fucking satellites. It's our Earth. Is Fuck it our satellites? Wait, Sir Link's not his satellites. He didn't make those. It should be. Oh. Oh, so you want total totalitarian government. I thought he was donating the bandwidth to Ukraine. You want the government to control point. everything? Well, yeah. Isn't he donating bandwidth? Do you guys hate I Elon Musk? So so no, I, so okay, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that one billionaire should not be able to own parts, port, 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 parts of space. Right, and George Soros shouldn't be electing DAs in these cities and turning them into shitholes. But he does. I agree with that too. Okay. Let's eat them all. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Buy the shirt, Amazon.com. Just type in eat the rich. Get the rich Dickman shirt. All right. Whoa. Three of the week, uh, the submarines were that, unmanned. The, 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 those, those mothers. That's the first I'm hearing of that. Oh. Unmanned submarines from the Ukrainian side. That's some new technology, isn't it? I don't know. I, I don't want to. Oh, that's why. Okay. So he pulled the internet, <laughs> which the drones needed. It's not like the Ukraine oh, is like, sense. oh, we needed a compass. He's like, he he pulled the drone. So it's not like the attack was less effective. The attack didn't happen at all. Correct. Huh. He's choosing sides. I, I don't know. He's just staying out of it at that point, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know. He's choosing sides. He's staying out of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I wouldn't help either side. You know, they both can go. I mean, I would help. Noise. I would feel like compelled to help the underdog until the underdog was gonna like. Uh, I don't. Know, were we moving on? Not in not in war, don't Cody. Don't help anybody in war. Help yourself. All right, dick of the week is um the the eight passengers bitch. Fuck you, you dumb yeah, bitch. I hope you throw you in prison and kill you. Yeah. Well, not the death sentence. All right. Thank you guys for, for, for your questions. Thank you for your Dick of the Week submissions. Rich Dickman Show at gmail.com if you have a Dick of the Week submission. Or you can uh, drop us an email, Rich Show at gmail.com if you have suggestions as well. It's weird now. We have this X logo, all right? And I have the X app open on my browser. And I have the Notion app as well. And I have an N and I have an X. And it's making me feel weird. No. Well, how about we do some Cody Reads copy Let's and do make it, you buddy. feel better, Rim? Okay. Rediscover elegance at Leonard at Logan in historic Grand Rapids. Dear listeners, have you ever craved an escape that isn't just a place, but a passage back in time? Pause for a moment and let me paint a scene for you. You're in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Randy, what the fuck is this? Stepping onto the grounds of the iconic Leonard at Logan house, an Airbnb gem that isn't just a stay, but a story waiting to be experienced. Within the wall of this historic haven, you'll be in, Michigan. in an ambience with every brick, every room, and every corner whispers tales from a bygone era. All eras are bygone. That's what the nature of past means. 
yet offers all the comforts and luxuries of the modern day. Think warm, golden lighting filtering through stained glass windows, intricately carved wooden banisters, and <laughs> sumptuous linens that invite relaxation. And when morning comes, imagine sipping a cup of coffee on a spacious porch, the crisp air promising adventures in the vibrant heart of Grand Rapids. Friends, a stay at Leonard at Logan isn't just a reservation. Moment. It's a rendezvous with history. If your travels ever take you to Grand Rapids, or if you're looking for an excuse to explore, <laughs> make Leonard at Logan House your chosen destination. <clears throat> because history is to be read, not to be lived. Randy, these are getting longer. No, it was fine until Randy, I Randy, uh, it, it's really, no, our key demos really like it. Our key so you going on vacation soon? Or did you just come back from one? Like, yeah, that's where we're going tomorrow. Oh really? Yeah, and I told the guy that I'd do an ad on my podcast for him if he gave me the uh, the works, and he's gonna do like flowers and rose petals and shit. just ask him to waive the cleaning fee. No, I gotta pay that. It's pretty. Did you wait? Hold on a second. Did you literally tell a guy that you would do an ad on the podcast if he gave you shit? Yeah, via text message. And you didn't tell us this beforehand, so we just fucking just. (laughs) I mean, I would have done that better. I never tell you whenever I tell. I would have done that better. I make deals all the time. We would have done a much better job. I wouldn't life. have laughed at it and asked you what I the fuck done you much doing. Yeah, we would. <laughs> that sounds nice. Ah, he'll be fine. He seems cool. He's never going to actually listen. I didn't even tell him what the name of the show was. Okay, he I was hope. just happy that a podcast was going to mention his fucking so Grand Rapids, Logan on Lexington Steel. Yeah, you know what's funny <laughs> is tonight I learned for the first time that my wife, my dear wife Kristen, her birthday's tomorrow. No, that her that she doesn't know how to tell time. That Airbnb meant bed and breakfast. That she the, said she'd never stayed at a bed and breakfast, and I was like, "Honey, uh oh." I mean, I hate to be the actually the B and B actually. Oh fuck me! You, you were at an air. The ring light died a couple of times. So and she looked Randy, at me like I had slapped her in the face, and yeah. in her defense, I never put the two together either. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I, Airbnb, I never even considered what B&B stood for. Not once. What the fuck did you think it meant? I didn't think it meant anything. I just said Airbnb. Okay, it's Airbnb. That's it. Hmm. Literally the whole nothing. concept is that you make a bed and breakfast in your own. Okay. All right. I've never stayed at one. I've never used their service. All I know is that somebody bought my grandparents' home in Vermont and now rents it out as an Airbnb. Ooh. The first Which Airbnb I to stay experience, like three hundred fucking dollars a night. Like, they're 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 expensive. They're like the first, they're they're probably cheaper than a hotel though. But um, oh, well, conditionally, the first Airbnb Airbnb experience I ever had less junk fees is um, I got to my bed and on the pillow instead of a uh, chocolate or a mint, there was Coke. one random Dorito, just on the pillowcase. <laughs> <laughs> I was very off put by it. it. No, I threw it the bold, fuck out. Move. <laughs> that, that's cl- a clear so sign. The beds the were not. Made, I did right? an Airbnb. Yeah, the first time I did an Airbnb was in Virginia Beach, and what had happened is my I uh, my job changed around, and I went from a commission to a non commission job, and they accidentally paid me an extra month's commission, and I didn't think twice about it so i went to Virginia <laughs> beach and Woo-hoo! uh and, and booked an airbnb up there and uh and i get in there and it's and i didn't pay attention to what i booked so it's some lady who's renting out a room in her apartment that's uh yep. so here i show up big bearded man and she's like oh god and i was like <laughs> hello <laughs> we cool like i had a picture on the i yeah hello yes and she's like give me a second and she shut the door and like she literally called someone <laughs> and someone came and then they let me in and they realized I was cool and I had my daughter and you know I wasn't going to kill them anyways so that was a little awkward but wow. once we got over that she told me where the best beach was and we didn't have to deal with any tourists or anything so you um, stayed in this woman's home for how long three nights did you have to share a bathroom with her or did you have your own bathroom I had my own bathroom my daughter had a futon at the foot of my queen bed did you get to use her kitchen or anything like did you get to go through her stuff or television or if like, i wanted to i could have but yeah. i didn't how how nosy was she did you, did you see her like this is insane to me oh she was cool she, she left me alone she hot 
She 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 recommended a ton of great places to go. She really knew the area. You know, it, she was just it's very expensive to live in Virginia Beach alone. So, you know, renting out her thing, you know, her extra room, you know, seven times a month helps pay the rent. Right. Okay. All right, cool. All right, very good. All right. She was um, very nice, and she gave me a great review, and I gave her a good one. Yeah, listen, when you guys are in Grand Rapids, okay, make sure you check out the uh, Leonard at Logan. All right, it's in Historic Grand Rapids. Check it out. All right, the place is great. Yeah, Amen. Uh, I got the I got the suite. All right. All right. Free. free All right, hit, what's free the, do the next the thing. Suite. Suddenly, we're running out of time. Oh, are we? I want this to last forever. How many days are you going Long. for, bud? One. Never outshine the master. It's 26. Law 2. Uh, Never put tomorrow. too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies. Law. What are you doing? 3. Conceal your intentions. Law. 4. Okay, that's not going to work. I, what I was going to do is ah! play that every time, and then we could start our new... I love that. 26 suggestions of strength. But but I remembered that's like almost four minutes. Yeah. yeah. So, do 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 26 suggestions of strength. Oh, this is All right, a so we just finished Cody. 48 Laws of Power. We did 48 yeah, straight weeks. Yeah, this is a sequel weeks. to it, right? Yeah, and Randy wanted to keep going. So he found and the so sequel. And so Cody suggested the 26 suggestions No, this is the strength. sequel. Now, Randy, where did you cultivate about. these? Uh, yeah. You got them from a book. Where did you find this? What book is this based off of? Or where did you get this information? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is from an ancient book. It's banned in in most states. Okay. Uh, luckily, I'm in Ohio. Live free or die. Sometimes it's not Ohio. Um, nope. And I was able to get a hold of this. What? It's New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Oh, I know, but they stole it from us. Um, but anyways, uh, <laughs> sorry, that was funny to me. Yeah, that the factually <laughs> hurt my head. Yeah, that that actually. <laughs> I feel like a half aneurysm there for a second. If if, if you could see the I video. wish I could have fucking helped yeah, with that. My though. jaw dropped. I wish, God just like, that damn, man. I wish I could have sold that. Ow. Fucking okay. Yeah, edit head. all this out, Rim. We broke K My Fuck. neck is tight. Right. Fuck me. Brr, anyways. Ugh. So I got this from a very ancient book. Uh it's banned in a lot of societies. I had to go to a lot of uh Goodwills, St. Vincent de Paul's, restores. Like, if there's a thrift shop, I was in it looking for this book, mm. and I couldn't find it in any of them. So finally, I went on eBay, and Mr. Dickman gave me a little little tiny stipend, and I was able to come up with the 26 suggestions of strength. I like and it. I'm going to put them in here, share them with you guys. I like we it. paid dearly for this for you, dear listeners. I like it how it's 26 with how many episodes we have left. Suggestion one. Yeah, yeah, we were very specific in our search. Yeah. Suggestion one, cultivate inner silence in a world saturated with noise distractions and constant demands on our attention inner silence becomes a sanctuary by mastering the art of quieting the mind you gain clarity focus and the ability to discern what truly matters embrace moments of stillness daily allowing them to ground and refresh you in the midst of chaos the individual with inner silence possesses a strength that remains unshaken beautiful excellent Excellent start. Yo, that's good. That's, that's real a, good. That's a yeah. zesty one. It's a very ancient book. Like, I mean, yep. the only reason I got to lean on it is the lady I used to work for who was the librarian knew this book collector who knew the guy who posted it on eBay. So, wow, that's amazing. Uh, this is totally this this is this is totally true. All right, you got to have that mm-hmm. that piece inside. You got to be able to find that 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 moment, make clarity, right? To to bring to bring clarity to everything. And just you just whoo, whoo, deep breath back at it and back in the shit again, man. Hell yeah, that's that's good stuff. I like it. So we did good. Yeah. All right. Well, that's this is one. where I got to tell you guys that uh, unfortunately I had to make uh, joint sacrifices for this segment. Uh-huh. Uh, we're not going to get paid for the next uh, six episodes. What? Because he had to divert for the fucking book divert. for the book. It, dude, the the book was yeah. Like he came out of pocket. All so of again, too, you've right? transformed you know, a segment was, bro, into I can an advertisement. Show up as it is. That was a commercial. If you want to buy the book from us, oh my god! Uh, so that we can get paid, let me know. Do you love Jesus. art? Jesus Omg, I love art. Do you love Chat GPT? Oh. My God, I love AI. Do you love Jesus? Oh, 
OMG, I love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then boy, have we got a segment for you. <laughs> what him. would Jesus draw? <laughs> oh, before we start. I was talking about that we might be going to Amsterdam for producer Ryan's bachelor party. <laughs> Turning out that hotels are going to be prohibitively expensive, so we may not be going to Amsterdam. But as producer Lebanon. Chris, who's setting this all up, is telling me that producer Ryan once said that he'd like he'd like to go to Lebanon, no, to to Colorado. And I ah, said, uh-uh. USA is Lebanon. Yeah, we need to make Colorado happen. We abs- yes, we absolutely need to go to Colorado. One, the land of the mushrooms, and two, the land Colorado. of fuel. Mm. Um. So stay tuned. My God. Okay. Wait, can I like? Don't fuck with me. Can I get an invite to that? Or is that I would get you there. Problem? Absolutely. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Like, if we could spend like six hours, you, me, and Huel and Cody. Okay, I'm not gonna go all the way to Colorado for six fucking hours. Oh, I mean, I gotta we spend a lot of time with. You. Okay. All right. All right. Fine, Randy. We'll talk. I mean, we're gonna have a hot tub for fuck's sake. Hot tub. Don't use the grill at this cabin because um, is that the time uh, machine. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. That's why, that's why I said this ask producer Chris. On okay. what would Jesus draw? What do we got? What was the topic this Let's week? Or the theme? Jesus on a recreational fishing holiday. Oh, yeah. Is nice. this mine? And Rim, you won. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So you get to go first to see if you want to use your reroll. Okay. But I don't think you will want to. And we'll put these in uh, in the Discord at, uh, that we're not using to record in. So we got to figure that one out. But tinyurl. Mara is so very upset. One, and you can find them right at now. The website. Oh, I can give her a backstage link. Yes, it's her link. Do that, richstickman.com, and you'll see the Jesus art for every episode post. Oh, okay. One second. Let me do the backstage link here. Hide the stage. All right. We're having a lot of fun with the Jesus stuff. It is, Cody. We really need to sit down and talk about how to monetize. How to monetize Jesus. I'm going to send this. Did Did Randy tell you the new AI art game I had in mind? No. I'm working. Oh, don't tell him because I, I'm close to a breakthrough. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. I miss I miss Randy. Yeah, like uh, I've been working diligently trying to get that. Did you send work. that it's to me? Easy. Yeah, our AI um, generating. I sent it to the Discord with me, you, and Rim in it. The one where I sent the link to this. Right, but wasn't okay, that for so, Mara? Yeah. So Rim, yours. Well, yeah, because I, I yeah, but now I you have to send it to her. Cody. Oh, okay. I didn't you have realize to send it you were to asking. Her. Okay. Randy's trying to do stuff on the show. You. You're like you're hijacking the show. I love Jesus. You. Love you, too. All right, Randy. Jesus on a recreational fishing trip. What was my prompt? Uh, can I talk, or am I going to bother somebody? I don't know. I don't know. Are you going to be a bitch about it, or are you just going to fucking talk? Motherfucker. Uh, I'm not to be trifled with. You fuck around, you might find out. Do this. All right. Jesus and Mary Magdalene on a chartered fishing boat catching yellowfin tuna out the open ocean water. I can't read. I'm sorry. Okay, here I'm going to share. I, I got. I, I worked on this. I think you guys will be able to see this better. Can you still put it in the Discord though? Yeah, it's just hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> that <laughs> is beautiful. What is wrong Look, with the fish? There's a casual guy in the back. Okay, yeah, All right, hold on. It's, it's, oh, uh, holy shit! Okay, because Jesus. Look at Jesus' shirt. Jesus, it looks like at first glance, it looks like Jesus is wearing his Jesus robes, but he's fucking wearing board shorts. He's got shorts on. Okay, <laughs> and then you have Mary Magdalene. Yeah, cargo, She's yeah. in a yellow mary magdalene ish dress and she's got the um the the thing over her hair and she's holding fish next to jesus looking like yeah that's my husband he caught that and behind them is some sort of female looking character i can't really tell but off to the left off to the left there's a gentleman probably (laughs) the boat captain (laughs) who's wearing jesus robes if they were if they were shorts and a t-shirt sunglasses and (laughs) baseball hat that is amazing now the fish roll notice that so this yeah, is yeah, fish are eating each other. One. Weird. Well, you know. It's, okay, but it's, it's Jesus and Mary Magdalene on a recreational f- charter fishing boat. There's a charter captain right there on the open water. Yellow fin tuna. This is <laughs> that's sure. that was great. It's in there. Are you wanting to re-roll, sir? No, I'm keeping this. Yeah, keep I'm, that. Okay, what do we give it for an epic score? Five. five. Oh, five. sorry. Five, yeah. I yeah, because look at the ocean and like it's perfect. It, it's good. It, oh, well, you give it a four. Well, as soon as you said it was perfect, I'm realizing the horizon is broken behind the girl. Uh, uh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, four. I, I, oh, well, yeah. there's nothing epic happening. Overall style. There's a horizon. There's a famous horizon break in the Mona Lisa. He may be walking. Realize. 
Yeah, that's true. He might be walking in water. Oh, Mary Magdalene might oh. be on the boat. Uh, nah. Yeah, I think he's walking in water. So overall style? Style, uh, it looks very normal in Rockwell. Compass? I like it. I don't know. Just go with your heart. I give it a... So style is kind of, to me, like you wanted photo... You wanted photorealistic, and I think it delivered on that. Yeah. Uh, All right. Or am I, I do wrong? See, or no, I see oil. Or I see like I mean, oil paint. I want to say everything's a five. But it's still good. <clears throat> I give it a four. All right. Prompt accuracy. Five. Yeah, you can give that the five. That's where it's the five. Granted, yeah, you didn't everything. mention, you know, sunglasses Joe back Jesus. there, but he's invited. Well, he's the captain. He's he, he mentioned captain. chartered boat. It's a charter boat. Okay. He's the captain. Sure. Take your five. I'm an advocate for you getting a so, five right now. Well, Why are so you the AI five? gave you a prompt originality based on the theme rim. A three. Okay. And that with the temperature that it rolled randomly, your rating. Wait, there's RNG with our Write the sound scores. code because it changes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Write this down because it uh ready it some standing by one ninety seven point four one nine seven dot four one ninety seven point four. That's a pretty stout score. Mm-hmm. Pretty stout. Why is there RNG? Okay, so we'll move on to your we'll on, funny. Uh-huh. Man. You're a funny man for putting RNG in this entropy. Story. Entropy, man. Can you imagine? <laughs> like it was the life. fucking Olympics, and like some judge was just like, yeah, eight. But I added entropy, so it's a seven. I'm never a judge at the Olympics. <laughs> That's how you do it. All right. Okay. So this one, this one might be my favorite, but I don't think you're gonna like it. Who, who, uh, who, whose is it? Whose is it? Here we go. Oh wait, I gotta read it. Yeah. First. What's the prompt? Yeah. I almost fucked that up. Do shit okay. Order. So Jesus Christ of Nazareth and gators in a creek fly fishing heroic posts. On That's mine. Background. Excellent. Yeah. Show me. Show me the mo- yes. Wow, not fish. He's fishing. But very gators. happy. <laughs> You're gatoring gators. I like that he has extra hands holding the gator. You know, he's, guy? he's uh, got extra hands. <laughs> Ready? Can you get that in the Discord, bud? I know it's hard, but I it, so I can see it better. Horrifying. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting, buddy. I'm sorry. It's okay. We got to work out this workflow. Yeah, I, I'm trying to do. You know what I like? Is you know like to imagine? Swamp. All right. All right. Do you know what I'd like to imagine is going on here? That this that Jesus doesn't have extra hands. That this is literally just a monstrosity mutant of a fish and his brother. Jesus has got two alligator looking eels, right? And what I like to think in my, you know, in the cockles of my heart is that what is happening here is the opposite of Noah's Ark. It's Jesus's extinction. He's going around like this. This is too fucked up to live after we flood the world. So he's, <laughs> he's going around and killing the shit that doesn't make it into, you know, our our animal like yeah. bestiology. Yeah. You know, he's easy. Like the next These picture, the next Instagram picture over account. is him like posing Rem-dicting. next to like unicorns with like bullet holes in their head. Can we do that, Randy? <laughs> yeah, Randy, do that real quick. So Jesus with an elephant gun with dead unicorns in back. <sighs> and that that's nothing. To, that has oh nothing to do God. with this competition, <laughs> but I want that. Jesus. Okay. That's what's happening. So these are going to be posted also on my Instagram, mm-hmm. uh, Rem Dickman. I don't know if it's an at Rem Dickman or whatever, but it's Rem Dickman. And for every episode post, I put up the Jesus heart as well. So you can see, and you ha- you have to see this one because what, what Randy put up here from Cody's prompts freaky. is you got Jesus Christ. He's got three hands. One of those hands is holding an alligator looking fish. He's got, he's got a fishing pole in his right hand, but at the end of the fishing pole is like an alligator looking fish's ass hanging off it. Like he shoved the pole. Up seeming, ass yeah. It looks like it another up. alligator biting on um, it. And he's, yeah. And, 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 and he, what he's wearing is, is Jesus robes as, as, as a, as a shorts. He's got a vest on a fishing vest and shorts. Mm-hmm. And it's it's right. really right. funny. Proper, attire, proper tackle. <laughs> Sunburst in a Creek catching yeah. fish. Five right. fit. Is it, is it, there's no real on I got to say, Cody, I've had to work really hard. I appreciate you. And this one, this one looked like none of the other ones. I'm like it just happy. came out by itself. I'm very happy with this. I've, I've even constructed a, it, a it mind is an cannon. epic. All right. So go, go epic scale. <clears throat> yeah. I'm going five for epic because it is very epic looking. You got the, the sunburst in the back and the swamp. Yeah, I like it. Got I'll take big monstrosities in his hands. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me, I forgot I got to do that. But I've done 
So Epic is a five? Yeah, yeah. I'll take the five. And then, Overall style. Uh, there is style. there is the third hand. Um, There's a third hand in there. If you want yeah. to. There's a third hand and it looks like I'd there's a second mouth involved. Style. Yeah. Yeah. So what are we doing? Three. Three. All right. Overall prompt accuracy. <laughs> Didn't now, say alligators, but again? I'll take a four. It was, it's missing the heroic pose. Yeah, it said gators because that's why I confused it. Uh, oh, but it, it, did you it not no spell gators pose, right? So How I, did you I'm spell gators, three. motherfucker? T a t o r s. There's no. You, did you 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 didn't put the i in the gators, right? Gators I for your feet or g a i the shoes that you wear. E r s. Like your walking gait. Oh, the, How yeah, am I the, to know the that? boots. How the fuck am I you supposed didn't, to? What the fuck is walking gait? <laughs> oh my! I'm, you didn't put you, you fucking so really synonyms, fuck, oh, really homophones. Yeah, you, I'm still happy with it, but yeah, he's not wearing. He's not wearing it's gators. A happy accident. Yes, the reason he's not wearing gators is <laughs> Randy put in G A T O R. Yeah, <laughs> it never crossed my mind that it could be spelled. Different. So the gators are never are right on. Yeah, I but, I thought they were named after a- alligators. I just figured the they crocodile. named the boots after. Those alligators. are the boots. I'm talking about gators. And st- so, if you don't want to get wet, there's these special pants that go over your shoe that you know protect your gait from the creek. <laughs> What's a gait? You're the, uh, like the big you old- something for your land, so you can control no, your, your fence. Gait is how you walk. Waiting, they're waiting pants. Come again, waiting. Pants. No, I walk with my feet, not a gate. It's half of a wetsuit. It's the bottom half of a wetsuit. Let's okay. just say that. It's not in the picture because Randy didn't know to yeah. spell it. Prompt accuracy is a four. I'll take the four. I'll take that. Four. All right. All I'm trying to figure out is prompt accuracy. Four. What, four. what are we rating? Four, 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 four. Gators. All right. Well, the AI said you weren't very original at two, and your temperature was point zero seven three. So your rating, Cody, uh-huh. write it down, came Cody. in at 138. 138. 188.175. Oh, shit, 188.175. No, 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 188.178.175. Gotcha. I like this new method of talking. Hmm. Like, you know, like it being a little more scientific. Oh, shit. All right. Randy, what's, what's, what's your submission? Very scientific. I think all right, we're all off. This feels sideways. I'm sorry if this sounds so weird. Mine is... Cut. Jesus Christ, ice fishing in a tiny cabin, <laughs> shirtless with Thor, Odin, and Elon Musk, and experimenting with Special K. All right, so let me. Do. I like this segment. I mean, it it's a good one. one. See that guy who decided yeah. that he uh, had gay sex with Barack Obama? Uh, no, no, nobody saw that. Where's Jesus? No, okay, that's ridiculous. Okay, it's very interesting. He's in there. Just. Oh there yeah, Jesus is the middle one. He just is blonde because of the Thor. He's trying to be. He's trying to fit in. So we got Vikings. Yeah. Sauna. <laughs> Jesus has a far I'm off stare, like he's trying. Special K. It, it, yeah, it looks like he might be shitting. The guy in front, or maybe he's trying out. to jerk himself off without touching his dick. That's kind of what it looks like. Could be. <laughs> I do that a lot. Wow. Work sometimes. What, the guy. Okay. All right. So we have three um, Nordic looking Jesus kind of looking dudes. Randy says one in the middle is Jesus. They are shirtless, wearing fur boots. You know these Viking type boots. In the middle of winter, um, next to a fire can, and they're in. Yeah, they're they're on the deck of a cabin, a wood cabin, uh, over a lake. And it's middle of winter. I don't see fishing poles. I don't. See I don't see Jesus. I don't see fishing, fishing poles. As much as I want. It doesn't even look like the lake is frozen. Yeah, I'll be honest. I was after Cody's. I just did whatever the first one was on mine. I didn't give a shit. Um, so what do we give it for Epic Scale? I mean, like, the six packs and packs are you pretty to fucking too. epic. I'll, like three. Yeah. <laughs> but it's boring. Like Nothing's happening. One. There's a fire. All right. Overall style. It's a good style. Like, like three cabin starts getting a little weird on the right with the logs being chopped like that. You can take like a four. The guy's not sitting on anything. They look like wax. Yeah, three. All right, prompt accuracy. Yeah, I didn't do a lot. Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, it said my prompt was a two originality. 
All right, and let's see. Let's click that. My overall score after the temperature, 85.5. Wow. Cool. That's a fucking Fuck. rough one. Is that a record? All right. That might be a record, Randy. No, I'm sure you sucked more. Okay. <laughs> nah, I'm confident you sucked more. Okay. All right, guys. It is... It, it is. Is uh, I'm too early for this one. Shit. Um, I had a great idea. For, see, this is why I didn't want to win because I wasn't sure with my uh-huh. my ideas. Oh wait, I got to do more, don't I? Oh. Yeah. So I don't know. Let's do let's let's let's, let's look at um, let's look at the '80s. Cody, one of the greatest movies from the '80s ever made. Oh, The Goonies, Ghostbusters. Sure, that, that's a good one. Jeez. Jesus Christ in Ghostbusters? Jesus Christ in Ghostbusters in 1984. As okay. a Ghostbuster? Or because Whatever technically Jesus to... is a holy ghost. It, Jesus. <clears throat> Come on. All right. So you can do that. All right, whatever oh, no. you want. It's Jesus oh, no. in Ghostbusters. Okay. Okay. Jesus with the Ghostbusters thing. Okay. Are you going first or should I, Rem? Wonderful. Uh, go, go. Randy, if you're ready, go ahead. Oh, I can go first? Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to change this to be Randy instead of Rem. And I'm going to say Jesus Christ of Nazareth getting and or giving, sorry, a blowjob. What? You can't do that. Yeah. Low hanging fruit. Ground fruit, Randy. Um, willingly. Low hanging fruit. That's the only thing I know about Ghostbusters. I've never fucking seen it. You've never and seen the only Ghostbusters. I know that is because it was in Scary Movie. Oh man, not once my entire life. Yeah, he wow. was. You, you were out. born in '89. There weren't. I'm ready. There, my problem. There wasn't a lot of '80s left when we '90. Oh, 90 you weren't even 90. alive in the '80s. I was born in '90. We didn't have any hope left. My fucking yeah, god. Yeah, we didn't have any hope left. I'm glad we have tracks. This shit is all off. I don't know what's going to happen with the audio in this one because our sing- this is way crazy. But um, here is my my prompt, Randy. Okay, it is. Oh, let me get it ready. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not ready for you, Rim. Hold on. All right, all right. But Two. Oh man, I didn't save mine. Uh, mother. Oh come on. I'll do it in a second. All right. So we got to keep talking about stuff here, Cody. Uh-huh. No, I got you. Uh-huh. You ready? What do you want to do? Man? Okay. Uh-huh. Here's what I want. Je- Jesus Christ of Nazareth battling. The Stay Puft Marshmallow Whoa. Man, yeah, atop Zool's, atop the altar of Zool. That was just the building, right? The Chrysler Building. And it's Stay Puft, P P U F T, and Zool is Z O O L. Is it? I In thought it was Z W L. When I say W, I mean U U L. Nope, Z O. The Zool. U U. Zool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the O's. I love Rick Moranis. Sure. He's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is he still alive? Oh, he's getting back into acting. Probably not. Rick Moranis is absolutely still fucking alive. Really? Yeah, he had a whole Mint commercial where, what's his good. name? Right. Deadpool said he was coming back to acting. It was the first thing Rick Moranis did after after he came out of retirement. Oh, that's right. Wait, who won the last one? Was it Ram? Ram, yeah. did you win this week? I read. Yes. I, read, I had to select who yes. was the winner. You ready for I Cody's prompt? A bunch of, no, I fucked it. One second. I just okay. added a bunch of new fake entries. Fuck shit up. The fucking Fuck story. shit like, up. If I wasn't lazy, I would edit this down. This is probably really boring for the Wait, listener. What's that? Is it? Yeah. I thought they would like it. Imagine like you're driving Sorry. along, right? You're listening to this shit on a, on a highway, and then like you just li- all of a sudden turn to a check guys doing fucking technical assistance. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's, yeah, because you guys are totally it, helping it, me it, out it, here. It's this is real. Totally help me all this the time. Grounded. I'm here for you, Randy. Yeah, I know. But I, all right, Cody. What what do you, what kind of ideas right. do you have in here? Like, do you know what? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm about ready. Oh, I, I know exactly. I, mean, I know exactly like what I'm name. doing. Okay, Jesus Christ. For me, ready, Rem. Cody. Okay, for Cody, I want Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, baptizing uh, Bill Murray in Ghostbuster attire in a New York subway flooded with pink slime. 
All right. This is going to be some, this is going to be wild. I can't wait for next week. <clears throat> Randy, right. do a great job. Thank they you. used to Game Boy. They used to Game Fucking Boy to pilot the Statue of Liberty. And we were just like, what? Oh, yeah, no, they Game, Boy's Game Boy. No, no, it was no, a, it wasn't Nintendo. A Game Boy. It was a Nintendo Entertainment System. What? It was an NES controller. Yeah, Nintendo Advantage Pad. It was, it was the, for, yeah. Yeah. It was one of the special ones for like arcade games. Yeah. Game Boy. Yeah. I think, I think you could use that <laughs> with the uh, Virtual Boy. No. Oh, hey, mine got saved. I didn't fuck it up. Okay. All right, they're all in there, boys. Nice. I did it right. All hey, right. did that great job, that, Randy? Did that auxiliary great job come out every week for not believing in me? Randy did it. Oh, I forgot all about it. Is that is that thing around? I want to take a look at that. Yes. Uh, here it is. Downloading it. Okay. Well, while they're doing that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for listening to the Rich Chickman Show this week once again. Yeah, we're we're done the final stretch. We love the you. final stretch in 301, and then we no longer number episodes. Um, Cody thought he was done. <laughs> Whoa, <what> was <laughs> that was fucking awesome. He's got a gun. Remember, I was just like, Jesus oh, this is Jesus gun. doing the opposite of Noah's Ark. So, yeah, Jesus is going around killing gator eels oh, and yeah. elephants. But it, also, it appears amazing. like the elephants also amazing. have their own guns. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> Cody is great the talking twist. to you this week. The Love M Night Shyamalan twist. Yeah, remember, remember that time Indeed. where we <laughs> let Randy get away with a commercial for Grand Rapids. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> hey, free shit, free shit, man. Yeah, listen, man, you again, know how much I, I used to get my yo, oil change. For good free episode music. title. Yeah. Free shit manager. is free. I like that. Listen, if you guys are in Grand Rapids this weekend, look out for Randy. He's going to be at the Leonard at Logan. All right, right in Grand Rapids. Check him out. <laughs> He's signing autographs Saturday. Oh, he docks him. Yeah, it won't release. Docks him. <laughs> I'm going there to reconnect with my wife. God bless you. I hope it's fun. Uh, but don't forget the uh, after the autograph signing, you have to do the meet and greet. And you got your, your 20 minutes of stand up later that night. All right, down the street at the at the pub. All dead parent jokes. Come, that's come that's what you it. got. That's, that's right. At the funny bone. Leonard at Logan, the historic Man, grand rapid. Not the actual funny bone, the boned funny. Yeah. It's, it's the, the one up the road that you, it's invite only. Tell them Randy DM sent me you. on Twitter. Say, say Randy, the Rich Dickman Show. Well, no, you have to DM me. On, I have to get you a QR code or they'll shoot you. He said screen, I'll get so a 20% discount. So thank you. Thank you, Randy. Thank you so much. Great job tonight. You got, this you. is blood. You only get in with blood here. Wow. Yeah. Right. yeah. All right, that's it. That's it. Randy, say the words, bud. See ya. We love you. Well, first, I wanted no. to check in with our interns for, for some no of the more. potential episode titles. Okay. <laughs> Is that <laughs> my <laughs> intern? Is that me? Maybe I'm... <laughs> give, give us one. Okay. Uh, so instead of my stroke gave me a Virginia draw. No, we did those. Instead of free shit is free, it says uh, no charge, no problem that sucks complimentary content there we go complimentary content that's what this is oh and for simba without scar this one was good sorry the lion kingless oh that that one hurts that's nice yep hey if you like what we do you want to support the show tell a friend or leave us a review Fuck check Disney, patreon patreon.com slash rich dickman rich dickman.com for all your rich dickman needs uh click the merch tab get a shirt go to amazon.com you can find eat the rich shirt there just type in eat the rich t-shirt by rich dickman and boom pops up get that shit all right find us uh on twitter at rich dickman show or email the show rich dickman show at gmail.com i am at rem dickman executive producer randy over there looking slim and sexy and all sorts of goody and uh he is at sir zero with an e have fun at the at the logan and leonard leonard at logan excuse me grant rapids bud yeah we got the king suite uh get a nice actually steak. uh john quincy adams uh slept there you're a great grandfather that's amazing all right good, good for you bud yeah. have fun cody when when our friends want to reach out and see you, pal, and see all your amazing tweets and how to get a Hawaiian shirt such as that, how do they find you? Oh, well, I don't tweet anymore. I, I zeet. I X post. Um, you can find oh, me on X.com. Oh. Username <laughs> Cody McCann, C O D Y M double C A double N. You know, say. Oh, hey, and. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Rim. I don't mean to do that, buddy. I just get an idea. NFHC, 300 episodes. Congratulations. It was a good run. So. All right. And uh, fucking the X.com. 
That's what we see the things on mm-hmm. X.com, not Twitter anymore. Sorry. Do it. All right. Love you all. Good night. Bye. That's good. Boosh. Boosh, sir. Wow. This sink is all off. This is this is scary. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm wondering if I, I just really pay attention. If I just. To the. Yeah, let me just jump out in there and see if it fixes it. It'll all be fine because it records locally, man. It'll all be good. How do I get out of here? Is it this? It'll all what? How do I hang up? I'll stop. Do you want me to stop recording? No, I just want to jump out and jump in and see if it'll, like, help with any latency. But I don't know how to. All right. How do I hang out? We'll sit here. Say, how do I do? I just close the window? Leave session. Top right. You go to leave session. I can kick you if you want. I mean. Um, right. Oh, it's uh, underneath notifications. <laughs> All right, well, I'll be right back. It's always like you don't ever get the full word out. You know, when you, when you click yourself out of something, he goes top rap. You never hear the T. No, I kicked him. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, I got tired of him. Fucking, he's not gonna be. He, able he was to... like a helpless little fucking tryout. I, you know, so I kicked him. He's a weird. He was weird tonight. Huh? Back in. What do you mean? Uh, like, I mean, we we got we're good. We uh, he's back. Well, let's see how the delay is when I'm talking to you right now, bud. Yeah, that's right there. That's right on. We should have done that way earlier. <laughs>